All right, what's up guys? So I play video games for a living. Like this is, this is my full-time job, right? And I have to say this video, <laughs> I'd have no idea how this came about or what like even transpired to get me here. But basically this is what happened during my first playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. And it's absolutely crazy. So hope you guys enjoy. Also, only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking the video or just like the content in general on the channel, feel free to subscribe. Uh, it's always, it's free and you know, you can always change your mind if you want to. Enjoy the video. Are you sinking under, underneath the sea? Whoa. The Hyrule Castle? You're probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there's not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you're able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, all will be made clear to you. About to do barrier skip right now. It's Atlantis, guys. Why is it underground? What the hell? Hi, Moblin. What? That's Link. That's me. That's us. All right, Eric. I need you to listen to me for a moment. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in the castle. Find it. You must find the entrance to a basement. Find the clue in the shape of a head. Heraldry near where we arrived at the castle. Is this what we have to do? Oh my god. Yes. Mm. Oh, this is why I play through games like this. I love puzzles like this so much. Oh, okay. This this shouldn't be too hard, actually. Not now that I think about it. It shouldn't be too hard. So that's the first one. Then we'll push it one more. Can I push it one more this way? I cannot because of that blockage right there. But if I go up one and then move it over this way. Yeah, okay, that could that could do it, I could do it. And then I grab it one more this way. All right, so that's two. I think this third one's gonna be the hardest one, quote unquote, because um, of how we do it. But I think, oh, we got it. I think we, I think we did it. And I'll move it, yeah. Nice, that was great. Right, let's go, let's see what's, that, what's, what's down here. Whoa. Hey. That's the master sword. It's the Master Sword! Excellent, Eric. To perceive such a puzzle and decipher it in no small feat. Now, take the sword that lies before you. It is none other than the Master Sword, the Blade of Evil's Bane. It is the only sword that can banish Ganon from the world above. Oh, uh, that's that that kind of it's cool. Kind of seems like a little trouble right now because all of these enemies are probably going to come back to life. Yes. All right. Um, little monk S right there. Um, but you know we're in the basement, so we don't really need protection right now. And we got the master sword. Not awakened though. Let's go see what's up here. Um, hey guys. Um evil sort of um doers uh you phantoms and moblins i would actually appreciate it if you didn't attack me that would be wonderful oh yo oh did you see that oh my god the man is insane man master sword's nice oh i can't go back what i guess we go forward and i can't get in do i have to defeat all these enemies Six hours later. All right, so now they're gone. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Whoa. 
Hey guys, guess what? All right, let's do barrier skip. All right, so now I have to do um, this, and then, and then, and then, and then cancel. Take out the Wind Waker on the damage frame, and then. Um, All right, we did it though. And then I think it's like, and then I got, go all the way to the side over here, right? And then I look up. I, yeah, how the f do I item slide, by the way? Something with the grappling hook? I know it's something with the grappling hook. Hold up, pause, slightly down as you can, unpause. No, f all right, not, no, all right, let's continue on. <laughs> no? You just want me to do it? Oh, all right, fine, fine, fine. So I go up, pause, just hold slightly down. <gasps> oh, I did it! I did it! <laughs> I item slid. I did it. Okay, I, <laughs> I item slid or whatever the hell. Link says he'll help you if you want. I'm good for now. I'm good for now. I want to see if I can get on my own. Damn it! You know, what? if he wants to help, I'd be down. All right, if he wants to help. Oh, Link is just calling. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how's it going? This is quality content, Chad. Is this, look at this, it's riveting. It's just yellow. Beautiful, yellow. <laughs> I'm trying to get so, um, uh, barrier skip right now. Yep. Just for the fun of it, but it's not working. Okay, uh, first of all, do you know how to do the item slide section well? Yeah, I know how to, the section. I know how to item slide. I was just taught to item slide. You take out the grappling hook, take a step forward, pause, and just hold down. And then you will notice that the crosshair is bopping. I want you to see two bops up. And when the second bop hits, I want you to pause the game. You see the red bops right there? Do you know what I mean now by yeah. the red bops? Yeah. Yeah. So basically when I... Oh, cancel it so you don't crash. Well, I... okay. Oh, you mean like crash the game? Yeah. If you do that for seven or eight seconds in an area, the game crashes. Oh. So slightly down. So one, two, like that. Yep. Down. Yep. That's oh, perfect. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm teaching you this before you get the angle so you don't mess up. So what you want to do now at this part, let's pretend you were in the barrier with the angle, right? Okay, and if, so if, just the L. Yep. And if you did that right, you will go right instead of left. Oh, I went right. Yep, exactly. That means you got it. Now you got the last part down. Now all you need is just the correct angle and you're going to get barrier skip. Yeah, no. Okay, now we go in the corner, and then you, when you're fully in the corner, we, we want to see up. Uh, this could work, but it's more unlikely. So you can see, maybe, uh, you could maybe have seen that one pixel standing out. That means that... I do see it. Yeah, the blue one, right? Actually, that could work. Yeah, don't touch anything. Okay, now what I want you to do is, without pressing a C-stick, just press the A button, and then you take out the grappling hook. Okay, got it. And at this... And at this point, I forbid you to touch the C-stick. <laughs> All right, it's not being touched. <laughs> yep, exactly. So just like take one step back and then just hold forward, pause, do the item slide and pause on the second bop. All right, I took one step back. Or like like that, right? That's one step back. Yep. Yep. And then really fast all the way up on the on the um, on the joystick and then pause. Yep. And then slightly to the back and then unpause. Like that. That was more than two bounces, though. That's fine. Is that's that okay. That, that's okay. It might still work. So I want you to do what I said before. So hold up, unpause, pause. There we go. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and then just hold target and just hold target and unpause. And just keep holding target because you have a lot of speed. So you want to lose more speed. Yeah. So just keep All holding right, so target. Hold now. target and pause. Uh, unpause. Yep. And if you got the angle, you will clip through. Just keep letting it be. What? Please, please, Link. It, it was the wrong angle then, right? Yeah, so this is the wrong angle. The reason I told you to keep holding target is because you lose speed faster. So I needed to get you into the right speed for the center. Uh, actually, that could actually work. Yes, I see the pixel. This could work. This could, I actually see the pixel. You have, <gasps> okay. yeah, this pixel okay. has four values and three of them will work. So you have a good chance. You have a good chance. Please. <laughs> I am amazed this isn't working. What the hell, man? <laughs> oh, 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 I saw uh, like a weird. Oh, Wait, did he bop? Oh, okay. We did Stop it! Target. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Linkus, thank you so much. 
No worries, man. <laughs> All right, now I just got to reload my save. <laughs> oh, man. Because <laughs> I'm doing this casually. <laughs> this is great. Oh, hey, look. We just went back through. Perfect. <laughs> look. All right, we don't even have to, like, we can just go back through. It's it's only one way. All right, let's continue on with the... <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go to... I think we go to Forsaken Fortress now. Because we just got the Master Sword from uh, the bottom of Hyrule. Or, or Hyrule Castle, which is below the Great Sea, which is insane. Okay, we're at Forsaken Fortress. Is there a way to get up? That's the question. Unless we're, unless we're supposed to get caught. Is this the entrance? And uh, likely been made aware of a little incursion already. But you have the Master Sword. Sword that shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil. With it in your hands. None can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. Um, all right. We can just continue now. We can just go through Forsaken Fortress pretty easily. Because we have... Um... What? What? Uh, um, are we playing energy ball tennis? I guess, okay, I, all right, that's what we're doing. We're playing energy ball tennis today. Let's go! Take that, you little... Apparition. Oh, that was fast, that one was fast. Let's go! All right, what did we get for that? The skull hammer. Oh, are we in a dungeon right now? We are! <laughs> okay, this counts as a dungeon again. What does this do? That's pretty violent. <laughs> Jesus! That's so violent! <laughs> Wabam! All right, then we open the, the door and let's see what's behind here. Let's get our sister. We got Errol. Big brother, you're okay. I was worried. The cell won't open that easily. Tetra, I swear, do you even realize we had to draw that monster bird off for you? It's about to come flying in here after you again. She saw the Master Sword. There's something special about that Master Sword. That sword! Where did you get that? Are you... Is it even possible? Well, never mind about that. For now, we'll just take these girls. I'm sure their father's back in town will pay a handsome reward for their return. I'm so sorry to interrupt such a heartwarming reunion. Wait, isn't there still something you need to still take care of? Yes! We gotta... Defeat Ganon! Eric. We'll be back, I swear it. And it's closed. And it's locked. And water's coming out. Uh. Oh! There's Bird! Hi! Hi, Bird. Just keep climbing the circle. That was close. That was really close. Actually. That was incredibly close. Wow, how tall is this? Jesus. Hi! Hello? Can, can I- can I please- can I get up? Okay, I guess not. Oh, 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 let's go up, let's go up. And then let's use... Bonk! <laughs> We're at the top of the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, now it's closing. All right, good, the bird can't get back then. Just kidding, I lied. Let's go. Bye, chicken. Bye, chicken. Let's go. We did it. We beat Bird. We beat Bird. Let's go. All right, let's go see Ganon. You've done well to sneak into my fortress and wriggle your way all the way up here. I suppose the least I can do is commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Ganondor. And I am the master of the Forsaken Fortress. By the way, boy. When you drew that sword of yours out of its pedestal, did you by chance notice how all the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? Do you understand what precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. 
foolish child. While that sword is indeed the blade of evil's bane, at the same time, it has long played another role. You see, it's also sort of a key. A most wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. By withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal. Why? Link, why would you do that? Terrible idea. Ganondorf do be thick, though. You cannot defeat me with a blade that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil. What you hold is useless. That's right, I told you guys it wasn't awoken. Tetra! Let, let me go! You pathetic little sea rat! My Triforce of Power is resonating! At long last, I have found you! Princess Zelda! Oh! Huh? The Rito! It's the Rito! Yes! Let's go! Oh no! He's about to- He's about to be burned! Let's go, Baloo! Well, that's the end of the game. Ganondorf is now dead, and we have saved the entirety of Hyrule. Eric, you're all right. What is this place? Hey, and Ganondorf? What happened to him? <laughs> hey. Eric, what are you doing? You must come down to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who's using that stone? Yeah, who is using that stone? Eric and I are the only ones who can speak through that stone. How dare you use what's not yours? Your name is Tetra, correct? You must come with Eric to see me at once. Well, don't you, don't, don't you sound important. Fine, we're on our way. So we're going to now go and see who that mysterious voice is in the stone. Next time! All right, let's go, Tetra. Let's go talk to whoever the hell is down here. Who is that? That's an, that's, that's an, oh my God, that's an old man. <laughs> is that an old man? That stone is an enhanced version of the gossip stones long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I am the one who made it. Oh, some random old man's down in the, in the, in the bottom of Hyrule Cat. That's great. That's just some random old man, guys. Like, come on. Don't bring this joke back. What do you mean, Maddie? <laughs> this is Hyrule. And I am his king! Daphnis Nos Hansen Hyrule! Oh my god! No way! Oh my god, it's Dom Hansen Nos Hansen Hyrule! Eric, do not recognize my voice. Indeed, I am the- Oh, wait, that's a okay, that's actually a twist. I didn't actually expect that part. There was no need for, you for me to reveal my true identity to you, so long as that blade, the Master Sword, could defeat Ganon. But now, both of you must listen to me. Wait, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. But how the fuck is he a boat? <laughs> when the gods heard of our pleas, they chose to seal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself. And so, with a torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long as Ganondorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. That's that the Triforce! This necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom, which has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it and to guard it with your life. Oh, this is a beautiful cutscene. Force of Wisdom. 
You are the true heir of the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Eric, I'm terribly sorry that you have been caught up in these events. But now it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda. Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses. Eric, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have a suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. I need for you to come with me back to the lands above the water and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. Eric, be careful. Hey, what's up, Daphnis? King Rome Hyrule? The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the sages who infused the blade with the god's power. The sages should be here in Hyrule, in the wind table to the north and the earth table to the south, praying to the gods. You must head for these two temples to see what has happened to the sages and attempt to find a way to recover the power to re repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier down here in Hyrule, blocking our paths to the temples. Well, if only something existed like barrier skip. But each temple should have another entrance upon Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. Eric, do you know the legend of the Hero of Time? Nah. No, I don't. I never finished that game. <laughs> Once long ago, well, I do know the legend. The legend is a bunch of YouTube comments calling me every slur under the sun. That's what the legend of the Hero of Time is <laughs> for not finishing that game. The sacred piece is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the Hero of Time was called to embark on another journey and left the land of Hyrule, he was separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said at that time, the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where they rest, but this much I do know. They lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. But you have crossed paths with, some, uh, with someone who knows much about the things that lie hidden in the depths of the sea? Sploosh kaboom! Uh, Alright, so let's go to let's go to Windfall. Let's play some Sploosh Kaboom. Good morning! Letters for Eric, we have one letter. This parcel has been sent out sent cash on delivery. Postage due is 201 rupees. Will you pay? This seems like a scam. It's a good deal. I'll pay it. Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, we gotta help this Nigerian prince out. To the esteemed Mr. Fairy Person. Thank you very much for your purchase. Enclosed is the an incredible chart. This chart will show you where to find the Triforce charts and the Triforce shards. I want you to use it to find lots of them. They're my favorite kinds of items. Thanks, Tingle. Very nice. At least it wasn't a scam. See if they have anything at the south. We haven't done that yet, so let's, let's try that out. Let's try it out. Apparently, there's a dungeon here. And here we have the rock that looks like a face rock. The rock that looks like a face. Crazy. I think we might need to get the Triforce of Courage first. Unless we can like do something over here. Can we pick it up? No, okay. A. Hey. With the power you have now, you can neither lift nor destroy that stone. Yet somewhere on the sea, the power to do lies. Okay, so we need to find. Okay. All right, so we need to find the, the Triforce of Courage. All right. So Tingle Island is like somewhere over here. Let's um, let's. We're not going to swim. We're going to use our boat actually. Oh, I can't go in there. Can I? Maybe that's a thing. Let's go in there. Is that like a thing we can do? It is a thing we can do. Okay. What is this? This is like the last, um, sort of the last dungeon, I guess, right? Where like we check it like this. Can I not check this? Check. Here we go. Yeah. Affect the winds. Oh my God. What was it again? Oh, we're going to go. We're, we're about to go through this. I remembered it. I remembered it. A Triforce chart. Okay. This map must be interpreted before you can read it. Okay. What's incredible chart? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. We need to go across the Great Sea to find all of these Triforce pieces. Or Triforce charts, looks like. And looks like we just found a Triforce chart all on our own. Without, without you know, actually... Without actually looking at this thing. That's actually so cool. We did that all on our own. So I think we go to the tile over and, and defeat a, a ship over here. That's pretty sick. All right, let's go do that. So we got to take these guys down. Nice. We did it, guys. We did it. 
Oh, it's probably the golden ship that has it. You know, that would make a lot of sense. That would make actually a ton of sense. Triforce? I got Triforce chart. Okay, so we got another Triforce chart. All right, so apparently over here is where I'm supposed to be. What's this over here? Oh, that's a gate that we can't get yet. What are these things? Oh, those are birds, okay. Now what's the plan? The plan is to do this. That was a stupid plan. All right, what can we use? Uh, we'll use our telescope first. Let's just start, let's start down the line. Let's use our telescope. See if we can find anything. Um, zoom in. Oh, look, there's a, there's bird. Bird, bird, another bird. And then what's that? Egg? What if I snipe it? Snipe that egg. Oh, all right, that, okay, that egg is yellow now. All right, so now what? Um, bait bag, what do I do with that? Um, sprinkle some bait, I guess. That does nothing. Oh, oh, we're on something here. We're on something. Okay. Um, can I grapple onto the, the, this guy? No, I got his fish, okay. So bait did something, all right? At least, at least we did that, all right? So bait bag, all-purpose bait, what is this for? A pair, take control of a seagull. Whoa, what? What does this do? Okay, so let's put this down. Um, uh, um, how in the fuck are you supposed to think about this? How are you, like, how is that, like, a thing you're supposed to be like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I'll just become a seagull. And there's one last one down over here, down this way. Look at that, guys. Look at that. We did it. Yes. So I have no idea how you became a seagull? Me either, but, you know, it happens. <laughs> and this is the seed chart, I'm assuming. Let's go. So we got, um, we got the one all the way to the right. We got two, three. So we got the other sea charts. What is this ghost ship? Let's go up. Let's go to the north. Let's see what that's up to. Speaking of which, let's talk to Tingle. We haven't talked to Tingle in a bit. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play. Hmm? That fragrant, musty scent, sir. You have found a chart. Splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. Why? You can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you for 398 rupees? No. Uh, Mr. Fairy, are you poor? Yes. Tingle, tingle. Kululimpa! Become readable. Wow, okay, that's all you have to do? You got the chart deciphered. Like me to decipher another? I don't have that much money. That's a whole lot of rupees. Tingle said it smells like broken here. He really did though. He really did. I mean, apparently there's also a chart on Outset, right? Yeah, there's a chart on Outset Island. So I guess we go there. You are looking. Oh, it's one of these things again. What the f do I do with you? Ah! Oh. The temples where where the sages await cannot be entered easily. Those who live in the seas nearby. Those frogs, maybe? Maybe it's those frogs? I'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll go around here. Small fire. There's a real heavy stone head blocking the cave of the island. Don't you want to wonder what's behind it? Don't you want to get in there? Yes! Let me tell you a great secret. Okay. Go north four squares and east three squares to Fire Mountain. You'll find an item that gives you the strength to easily lift anything, no matter how heavy it is. With that thing, you can lift the stone and toss it out away as light as a feather. All right. So we know where to go now. That's good. All right. Now to do this, uh, let's let's head over to the second. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! There's a uh, fishy over here. Maybe fishy will tell me something. You see that there volcano spewing out lava? Well, there's no tomorrow. Yeah, they say there's a great treasure hidden inside that thing. The thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get away has been blasted by the great balls of fire that comes shooting off the top. If you want to get inside, you ought to go to find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the power of freezing anything is hidden. Over here. All right, let's do it. How the? F do we get up there? 
It said that inside the ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of that island, there lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. The thing is, nobody's ever met her. So the only way you'll ever meet her is to take a ride on the whirlwind. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Foolish creature who does not fear the gods. Oh, this is the cyclos. This is cyclos. The other, the, the other frog. This is the other. This is the one that goes around with the cyclones. All right, we want to go in the cyclone. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And that'll bring us. No. Eric, are you all right? Hearts of Power. Only if I went to Hearts of Power cycle, then it might be possible for us to travel the ocean instantaneously. Use your item that can pierce distant targets. So we need to use our bow and arrow. Okay. Oh, we're so far away. <laughs> we're so far away. Bye, Cyclos. Goodbye, Cyclos. We, we got him once. Cool. We got him twice. Nice. We got him three. We missed that time. We got him three times. Nice. Obviously, I have a miss mastery of the air. Now that you know, you established that you quite the wind waker. Let's see if you can handle this. Uh, down, right, left, up. Uh, down, right, left, up. We're in the Ballad of the Gales. New song. You need to move like that. Uh, just call on my cyclones. Now we can get to a lot of different places. Let's go. All right. So now we got to do this. All right. So we're over here. So now it's like bring like cyclone. So it was down, right, left, up. Uh, mother and child islands. Yeah, let's go there. Yes. There we go. We did it. We did it. It's a little creepy. I'm the queen of the fairy world. And so I shall give you new power to the bow that you wield. Ice arrows. We're getting ice arrows. It's happening. Sorry. Sorry. I wonder what we're getting. Power of fire and ice have added to your arrows. When you take out your bow, use ZR to change arrowheads and then fire away. Nice, let's go. Now we use this. Ice arrows, bam. That did nothing. What? Oh. That makes sense. Oh, 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 we, we're timed. Oh, we have a timer. Okay, let's um let's let's get out. Let's get out and let's let's go. <laughs> let's just fall into the middle of a volcano. What could go wrong? Oh, we still have a timer? Oh, oh, we still have a timer. Oh look, there's that oh, there's that head thing again. Are you kidding me? Do we need that head thing first? No, we can't. Okay, I need to feed those two. Okay, I need to feed those two. The power bracelets? Now both arms are stronger than ever. Press. Oh, we have a. Oh, oh, we. The thing. The thing. This thing. What the? Let's go. Okay. Now let's um. Let's go to outside. Actually, I want to see what's in that uh that island thing. All right. Here we go. Look how strong he has. Look how strong. I'm proud of you, Link. We got a Triforce Shard. We need seven more shards to complete the Triforce. All right, so we got a uh, we got a Triforce shard today. That was pretty sick. I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what? We could probably do a, a temple too. We could probably just do a temple right now. Here we go. We got we got Mr. Big Head right here. Boom. Well, let's go in. Whoa. That's a lot of that's a lot of things. 
There appears to be markings that indicate specific directions. Oh, uh, well, looks like we can't do anything. Sucks. All right. Oh, well. We'll go, do, we'll go play the song. We'll go play the song. Next time when we stream. Um, let's do right here. Take out our Wind Waker. We did it. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Got it. Perfect. You learned the Earth God's lyric. Whoa, who are you? It's Azora. Oh, great hero chosen by the Master Sword. My name is Laruto. I am Azora Sage. For an age, I offered my prayers here in the Earth Temple, praying that the power to repel evil would ever remain within the Master Sword. And yet, unfortunately, due to Ganon's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost this power. He attacked this temple and stole my soul, knowing that he had to remove the power contained in that enchanted blade. In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must find another to take my stead in this temple and ask the gods for their assistance. I don't know who could do this. You must find the one who carries my bloodline, the one who holds the sacred instrument. Nothing can stop the flow of time or the passing of generations, but the... Oh my god! It's it's the it's the the Elvis guy. Maybe I think it's the Elvis guy, like the the guy at at uh, Wind Temple, the, the the Wind Wind Island. It's definitely that guy. The song you just conducted is the one that opens the eyes of the new sage and awaken the sage melody that will carry our prayers to the gods. So we need to play this in front of uh, the Elvis guy. By Naruto, Laruto. Let's go find Elvis. All right, Elvis guy, I found you. All right, now we got to play this in front of you. Wait. Uh, uh, cha! Uh, uh, cha! That's... That's it! That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall! Oh, I can feel it! I can feel it, guy! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Woo! You learn the song of passing. I have no idea what that does. It makes it daytime. The harp guy is not in fact Elvis. So that's, that's, uh, that's a thing. So I need to find the harp guy. He doesn't have to be Zora. He just needs to have a heart. Not Tingle. It's probably not Tingle. Definitely not Tingle. Oh my god. No, it's Birdo. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. It's Birdo. She, doesn't she have a harp or something? I hear a harp. Oh, oh. I hear it again. <gasps> it is Birdo. That makes me so happy because that was just like out of nowhere. Oh, Eric, you're okay. You know, Prince Kamali's been asking me about all your adventures, Eric. I can rest easy now that I've seen you safe and sound with my own eyes. Is that the Wind Waker? Wow. Eric, will you conduct me? I wonder how I'll do. I don't remember the song. <laughs> I did it. Oh, I feel... Birdo!
Eric, thanks to you, I've been awakened to the knowledge that I'm a sage of the Earth Temple. We must hurry and wake the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword. That's Prince Kamali. You're so cute. <laughs> Just look at that. Let's go now, quickly and quietly. All right, let's go, Burbo. The temple ahead is a nest of an evil creature. The same creature that stole the life of your predecessor, the sage, is a dark and frightening place. If Eric comes near you, Press a ZR to call you, then be silent and follow closely behind him. And if Eric presses A, allow him to lift you, and if need be, fly and carry him through the air. That's very specific. Okay, so I can pick up Birdo with A and fly across. Okay, right, they're. Oh, that's so adorable, though. Well, Eric, I'm not very confident, but I think I should try to fly. I'll fly where you tell me to just tap A to keep me airborne. Um, so the command, command melody. Oh, that's, wait, that's funny, right? It's the command melody, and then it's the commanding medley. Right? Look, I'm medley. That's me. Tapping A. We're tapping A. Got it. First try. Let's go. Nice. Um. Fuck. Oh, this is going to get so annoying. I feel like this is going to get really annoying. Nope. Nope. Oh, what? Oh? What is that? Makes me sleepy. Is that, does that prevent me from using items, probably? Yes, I can't use items when it's like that. Okay, that's what that's what that means. If I do that, yeah, 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 yeah. She looks, oh no, come on. Got it! Why does he keep saying A? Oh, that's why. Okay, that's, that's A, okay. So I face this way. There we go. I got it. I got it. And we got the small key, which can uh, open up the door in the other part of the dungeon over there. Fairies. Wait, why are there fairies there? That makes me nervous. And there's a Poe here as well. Oh, interesting. What can I do? How can I defeat Poe's? Oh, 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 I see. I see what I need to do here with the Poe's. I need to take Medley and be like, hey, Medley, and then shove her up there. Uh, okay, I, like I said before, I say, hey, Medley, go up there. There it is. Nice. And I go back and I take a look at the Poe. There we go. Nice. What? Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Are those redeads? Mom, pick me up. <laughs> don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Please don't be like a giant redead. Okay, no, you're kind of you're kind of funny looking. All right, I'll take that. All right, this is where it's weird now. Oh, his head. Oh, you have to get his head. Okay, okay. So you 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 break him apart and then you get his then you get his head. Take that, dude! What's this? I was our, I guess that was our mini boss. A mirror shield. A mirror shield. So now we don't have to talk to Medley anymore. This is what I'm thinking right here. What if I... Oh. Oh, do I have to do it? Okay, and then I have Medley here. I use A, and I keep her... Doing that. And I go to the other side. I feel like this is a really bad idea.
Oh, it's kind of cool. Whoa, okay. So there's a mirror right there. What, is these, what do these do? Oh, you can just do the same thing. Oh, oh, that's why they want you to do this. Okay, that makes sense. So you just bounce it off like that. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, what is this puzzle here? Right, I'll take a look at this. This seems like a penultimate puzzle here. Like the hardest. I'm. You know what? I'm going to call it right here, you know? I think this is the hardest puzzle in this dungeon based on its complexity. Okay. So we got rid of that. Do I need to get this? Oh, whoa, okay, so it's this right here. So we pull this, okay, another mirror. Put it right there. And then we'll have Link. There we go. Nice, there we go. Do that and then exit. Oh, Dark Knight. Rip, rip. After you, Medley. Oh, there's these guys too. Oh, that makes it so much harder. No, he's aiming, he's aiming for his sword. Nice, okay, we got him again. And we got him. Okay, we defeated him, perfect. Big key, okay, nice. All right, here we go. Let's go to the, uh, let's go to the boss room. Can we go across? Here we go. The boss. Bye, Medley. Bye, Medley. Oh, that's a lot of pose. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of pose. Oh, that, oh, that, that's a, that's a big pose. Dude's a little chonkers. Um, I want to go here and then I want to. Oh, it was bringing me in. That's, that's, that makes it difficult. I see that. It makes it difficult to do something like this. There we go. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what if I keep doing that? Nothing. Oh, but he, he becomes material. What? And it came out of his butt. Nothing? Okay. Like, that's easy to do right there, right? That's easy, right? Oh, 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 I can pick him up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see it. And then we defeat the pose that come out. What? We got one and it goes back? All right, so I think we have, we have like a couple left. We don't have many left. Come on, come on. Get just another Poe. All right, we have one left, one Poe left. Oh my god, we have one left. You're not even the right color. You're supposed to be green. There we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's such a lame. <laughs> That's such a lame end. <laughs> Prayers of the Earth Sage have restored the Master Sword's former energy. There is but one last step before it becomes a true Master Sword once again. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. Now, Eric, step into the light behind you and return to the surface. Your next duty is to find the Sage of the Wind Temple. All right, let's go to the. Uh, I guess. I guess with that, let's go to the. Uh, let's go to the Wind Temple. You guys want to go to the Wind Temple now? <laughs>